Welcome back to my channel in 2023. It's been a while since I've been on the bank, but uh, it's good to be out. So I'm at Norton Disney and I'm on Stocks Lake. Yeah, decided to uh, to come here. It's been on my list for a long time, Norton Disney, and I'm actually hoping to fish here quite regularly um, throughout this year. So yeah, made the uh, made the journey down. It's only a couple of hours from, from Teesside, so not too bad at all. It's just past Cromwell, if anyone's ever been to Cromwell Lake. Um, so yeah, really nice place. Um, on arrival, spoke to the bailiff. There's been a few fish out over the weekend, but not many. It's been quite difficult um, across the lakes, but there was um, a few fish out on this lake I've chosen, which is Stocks Lake. Stocks Lake is one of the uh, the easiest, if not the easiest, lake here. It's It's very highly stocked. Um, the average stamp of fish are mid to upper doubles, but there are plenty of twenties in here. So, you know, there's there's a good, there's a good head of uh, of carp to go at. Yeah, I wanted to just try and get a bend in the rod, so that's why I started with the easy lake, and then, you know, as my sessions progress and I get to know this place a little bit better, I'll work my way to the other lakes which have got bigger fish in. So, yeah arrived here um, jumped in a swim that the guy had just left and when the bailiff spoke to me he said he'd had a few fish so jumped in his swim straight away because you can't ignore it um, and put the drone up almost straight away and had a good look around and although I didn't see any fish out in front of myself and um, there was a good few fish um, further on the other end of this lake which is it's shaped in like a golf club, so up like the the handle, if you like. You could see plenty of carp cruising around close to the surface. So I've got options if if this doesn't work out, I'm here for another 40 hours. So if I don't have much joy at this end of the lake, I know I've seen fish at the other end of the lake. It wasn't stacks, but you know I, I did see fish. Um, but I had to give this peg a go because, like I say. The guy had had a few fish who had just been here over the weekend, so couldn't ignore that. Um, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I put the deeper out and um, I did pick up some fish in front of my swim. And according to the deeper, they were, they were in the mid to lower layers. They weren't near the bottom, so I've gone with two zigs, which are five foot off the bottom at the moment. And I will, as the day goes on, I'll raise them a little bit higher just every every half hour I'll raise them a foot and see if anything happens and then uh, I've got one rod currently on a solid bag which would have been my normal go-to for all three rods but like I say you can't ignore what the deeper was showing um, so yeah we'll see what happens but uh, yeah my first impressions really really nice complex very well run spotlessly clean so yeah, it's good to be back on the bank and uh, hopefully we'll get into something. Be nice to get the first carp of 2023. But like I say, we have just come out of a really cold spell. Um, the carp might be still pretty dormant, but we'll see.
Right, just a quick update. It's now six o'clock. It's starting to get dark. So, been no uh, activity with any of the rods. So I've changed over one of the zigs and put a solid bag on. So that's two rods now on bags and one left out on a zig. And we'll see if anything happens during the night. So unfortunately the night was uneventful. But the uh, good news about that was I got a good night's sleep. So yeah, it's uh, it's certainly been a challenge, even though it's one of the highest stocked lakes on the complex. I don't believe any other fish have been out since I've arrived, so it's not like I'm the only one who's struggling. So yeah, during the night I had two solid bags out and one on a adjustable zig, which I kept changing the depths. Obviously, I had no joy during the night, so I've just changed all three over to zigs. I just think it's quite high pressure, the sun's out, clear skies, I think I've got more of a chance of getting a bite on a zig, especially during the daytime. So that's my plan for today, while the sun's out, I'm going to keep, keep all three out on a zig. I've changed them over from, I was using the Fox adjustable zigs, but I found sometimes that they weren't 100% tangle proof, you know, like your typical marker float, sometimes you cast it out and it doesn't want to come up to the surface. Even though there's not really any weed out there, I don't know what makes it tangle, but I wasn't 100% confident with them. So I've made up some longer rigs, uh, zigs, sorry. So I've now got a five foot, a six foot and a seven foot zig. They're all sort of in this in the same depth they're not too far apart a couple of rod lengths apart and i've got them on different colors different colored bits of foam got a red a black and a yellow so i'll keep our fingers crossed hopefully we'll trip up a carp that's just swimming around doing its thing not really looking for a meal and uh if i if i am lucky enough to get one then I know to change the other zig depths to that one and also to change it to that colour as well because I know that it's it's obviously worked so yeah we'll we'll keep our fingers and toes crossed and hope that we get something during daylight hours. So what I was also thinking regarding my decision on using zigs during the day is I've got two anglers opposite me which are just over there now they got set up yesterday but they took over from another two anglers that had fished the weekend now the two that had fished the weekend I've seen them spawning a lot of bait out and I know that they didn't catch and then these two that arrived yesterday they also put a lot of bait out last night and this morning and as far as I'm aware they've not caught so I'm using them as a bit of a guide if obviously I see them catching, then I know to start putting some bait out. But I might be wrong, but my instinct has told me on this session, because it's still pretty cold and, and obviously the complex isn't fishing great, I've just thought of doing the opposite of everyone else. Don't put the bait out and uh, just try something different really and we'll see what happens. My thought process is if the zigs don't work during the day today, then before dark I'll switch over to some uh, bottom bait rigs and then put some spawns of pellet over the top for the night time but yeah we'll just uh, kick back and enjoy being out on the bank in January so 20 minutes after changing them zigs the 6 foot zig went on a red bit of foam to a nice 16 pound mirror out of Stocks Lake at the end of January in three degree weather I'm over the moon and well worth it so let's get this zig back out and hopefully we can get another one but 16 pound over the moon with that and there we go fish number two on a zig. So yeah, happy with that. 
get this one straight back, I'm not weighing it. It's uh, about nine pounds. So just a quick update, it was about half an hour ago when I had that second fish. And uh, I'm still, I'm trying to tie up some new zigs, all at around six foot. Um, I'm also trying to have my dinner, but it's about half two in the afternoon. And then my left hand rod is just rod off. And that was the seven foot zig. And uh, I had the clutch too loose, so it was taking the line really easily. And by the time I got to the rod, it had it come off. So that was my own fault. I should have had the clutch a bit tighter. But never mind. So I've had three bites now in the space of about three hours at the most. Landed two of them. So I'm just going to quickly have this coffee. Tie up three more zigs and bring these in and change them over. So they're all at six foot. And uh, and yeah, but I'm really happy with how this session is now going. Um, I knew if I persevered, I'd be able to pick pick one off. But to get two on the bank, I'm, uh, I'm I can't grumble with that at this time of year. So right, I'll enjoy this coffee, which I've just made down here. And uh, yeah, I'll get these zigs changed over. Catch you in a bit. Nice colourful mirror. Yeah. Can't complain on a sunny January day. Lovely. So I'll just uh, let that third fish go back. It was probably around 11 or 12 pound in lovely condition. So I've just took off my old zig. I'm going to uh, reuse the, the form and the zig aligner and I'll just get rid of the hook. So I'm going to put a new zig on now and I'll just thought I'd show you the setup I'm using on this session. So I've just got my main line going down to uh, a safety lead clip. So a safety lead clip is where you have the, the T the T stop which traps the ring swivel for your quick change. So it, it traps it so that your lead can't move up and down the line when you're playing a fish on a zig because uh, it, it can be a nightmare if that happens. So if you're ever going to use a zig on a lead clip make sure it's a safety lead clip and you've got the T stop. So I've got a three ounce flat pair lead with a long anti-tangle sleeve with 15 pound fox surface and a zig line. And I'll just try and get this in picture, might be a bit difficult. Right, here we go. So I've got the black zig liner, red piece of foam on a size 6 barbless hook as per the rules here and then I've just nicked on a PVA mesh little bag of a couple of PVA nuggets which will dissolve and all that's going to do is it's going to make sure that the zig is in the water and it's uh, staying tangle free and within a few seconds of that being in the water that PVA mesh bag will dissolve allowing my zig to be just nicely buoyant where it should be and that is that it's as simple as that you can reuse all the foam and the aligners i just change a hook after every bite make sure it's nice and sharp and that is it so i'm going to get this one out but i cannot complain um i've had four bites over in the space of three hours and i've landed three just really happy and just so you're aware i've caught on every color as well i know i was planning on changing them over but i didn't have time so all the colours have worked, I've caught on the red, the yellow and the black. I've also caught at the three different depths I had, five, six and seven. So now when I'm changing them over to a new zig, I'm just putting them at six, which is like in between. So that's it, so it's still sunny for another, maybe another half hour or an hour till it starts getting dark, so who knows, might be more fish to come. 
and because I've done so well on zigs during the day I'm just going to carry on this tactic during the night and who knows I might get a bite during the night but if not I cannot complain getting a few bites in January what more can you ask for Number four at 25 pounds. Oh, I'm happy with this. First 20 of 2023. Whew. Put up a good scrap. Check this out. Oh, 25 pound on a zig. Oh, happy days. Beautiful. What I should also add is any concerns I had before this session regarding using zigs, that's now gone. <laughs> so, yeah, I could definitely give them a try. Um, for me, when I would look at using a zig would be, especially in the winter or the spring, um, and if the pressure's high, so if you've got a lot of clear skies, maybe not much wind, sunny days, then normally then not on the bottom feeding much, so that would be when I would give them a go. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's worked this time. Obviously when I arrived I was told that the complex is fishing very hard, not much is coming out and I know the majority of people are fishing over bait so that's why I went with the Zig and uh, and it's paid off for me this time. So yeah, give them a try. Naturally you won't have much confidence using them. When us carp anglers are used to lovely smelling bait, all lovely flavours pineapple, tutti frutti and all that business the last thing you feel like doing is throwing out a piece of foam which doesn't smell of anything but they do work so yeah give it a go it's a nice sunset just to finish off what's been an amazing day I really can't believe how, how today's gone really. I've had four fish on the bank. Biggest being £25, that last one. A £16, and then one around 11 or 12 and then one around 9 or 10 Couldn't have asked for a better day. It's a nice, relatively warm evening for January. It's around 5 or 6 degrees. Not much wind. So it's very comfortable. And I'm carrying on as I am. I've still got all three rods out on zigs. And we'll see what the night brings. But it's been an amazing day. Really, really couldn't ask for any more. All the fish have been in excellent condition. Fantastic. Good morning. It was surprisingly a quiet night, which uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting. I thought the uh, bites would carry on during the night, but uh, yeah, I cannot complain. Four fish in total, biggest being 25, so it's been a really good session. Um, so yeah, I'm just having a couple of coffees. It's quarter past seven. I am uh, I'm allowed to stay on until half ten, but I'm probably going to be getting get going in about an hour I've got quite a bit on and uh, yeah so it's the end of January now it's gonna be a while till I'm back on the bank next time when I'm home I'm gonna be on a family holiday so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be possibly the end of April till I'm on the bank next I'm booked on at Old Mill the end of April on Oak Lake again 
for a 48 hour and then the week after I'm at PV Lakes near Hull for a 48 hour so yeah if I don't see you before then it's going to be um, well it's going to be May time by the time any videos go up but it's been a really good session here really enjoyed it it just shows you can you can get on the bank in the winter and still get a bend in the rod um, so yeah that's about it really my first impressions of Norton Disney very impressed I think my expectations were high before I got here but uh, no it's it's a really really well run place and um, yeah I mean I decided to, to drop my syndicate ticket because well there was a couple of reasons but you know I'd seen this place and I thought would I would I get more out of my sessions by coming to somewhere like here and uh, yeah I think I've made the right decision so yeah if I don't see you before it'll I'll see you in the summertime but thanks for watching if you've enjoyed this video give it a like and uh, please subscribe and yeah I'll see you again soon